All right, Aries, here we go. It's December 2022, the end of the year. I can't even believe it. All right, this is your reading for December 2022 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. The general reading may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading, as with any reading, really is timeless because you're all moving at different speeds uh, on your timelines. When I um, pulled your pre-shuffle, just the surface energy, I see this sad girl here. Right here on this five. That's all I notice. And I'll show you why when we get to the card that's bookending. Remember that girl, though. You're going to see her again. All right. This is somebody who let their Burger King, King of Wands, crossing this ego and pride, leave them out in the cold on something. And now they got a problem. It's like a fear of missing out energy. Now they got a problem because you're all they can feel. There's the Empress. There's the Queen of Tits. There's your tits right there. Best tits in the tarot. You're all they can feel. You're all they can think about. You see that girl? This is that girl bookending it right there. They want a second chance. I think this person takes it. I think this person, like we've been saying, the archer takes the shot because there's the three of wands underneath that just for shits and giggles. It's right there. So somebody here who's let their ego get in the way, maybe held on to something they shouldn't have, some grudge or what. I mean, I don't know. It could be a hundred different things. Uh, is feeling you on a high level. I mean, big time. Also, their Empress energy is coming up. So that the King of Wands is balancing a little bit, it seems. Which is why I think they take the shot. I can't predict what a 3D person will do. I can't predict free will. But I can say within the energy, it looks to me like a shot's being taken toward you. You know, reach out. Maybe there's a chance to save it. They're begging the universe for a second chance, at least inside. I doubt they're showing it on the outside with that King of Wands coming up. No, that's it's too cool for that. Let's give the deck a shuffle here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Aries. Let's see where we go. All right, Aries. Let's go. Let's do this. First card out. Why the fuck are we here? It's before the cut. I did all that shuffling. And, you know, I made a point to show you this girl. And there she is again. All that shuffling. While I was yammering on, Five of Pentacles came back. That is why we're here. Okay? The whole pre-shuffle is why we're here. All right. That's a pretty good sign if you're waiting for communication. <laughs> I'll tell you that. What comes after the cut? Yeah. Nine of Cups. I, I, it's like I told you. Is she already in the air? Look. It's like I told you. I think they take the shot. I think they're begging inside. They're begging the universe for a second chance. Their Empress energy is coming up a little bit. Their feminine energy. You're only, we have both inside us, masculine and feminine. And I think, uh, I think they take the shot, to be perfectly honest with you. And the cut cards just back that up. So we're here because of the pre-shuffle, which is just surface energy, which, which explains the Nine of Cups. You know, she already took the leap. She's already in the air on the card. She, your person can be a he, it doesn't matter. It's a she on the card. Let's go. Let me give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle on the angle of Aries universe. What's going on here for December 2022? I encourage everybody to read my December 2022 blog article. I know thousands of people already have, but I should say it again. Mm. All right. Overall energy. Yeah, I think they take the shots. It's the Knight of Wands. It's the overall. It's a forward-moving energy. It's a brave, impulsive action. I think it is impulsive. Uh, I would believe that with that King of Wands and the pre-shuffle. We, can, we definitely can't, for, can't forget the pre-shuffle in this reading. And underneath that is the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's going to take a shot at trying to be happy. Somebody's going to take a shot at something they, they can't stop thinking about. They can't stop dreaming about it. And as their feminine energy comes up, you know, you know, that ego comes down quite a bit. All right, let's, let's go. Let's, let's pull on this. Let's see where we go. we got the witches for clarifiers. Put our little knight of wands there. Our reading's on the flip. This is uh, the energy around your connection. This is how your person's behaving in the 3D. This is their soul. This is the hidden message from the universe read with the energy of your connection. This is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards over the top at the end and let's get rolling. All right, let's do it. I'm doing a whole fly through here. Wow, 12 signs. All right, energy around the connection. Strength, yeah, I think they take the shot. That's all I'm going to say. Heart chakra is open. That's proof that the fe that the feminine energy is coming up. And that pre-shuffle is important. If you're a fast forwarder who skips my pre-shuffles, I suggest you motherfucking rewind. Uh, that is right there, strength. That is, again, somebody pulling up their big boy, big girl pants and making it happen. Heart chakra open. Yeah, I think they take the shot. I think they take the shot. The nine of cups. I think they take the shot. 
I think that girl don't want to sit outside that door anymore and is begging the universe for a second chance. So far. You know, there's always a but. You don't have light without shade. And they need each other. Yin and yang kind of thing, you know. Equal and opposite reactions, all that. But how are they behaving in the 3D? We'll see what happens when we clarify. This might be one of those readings where I wish I didn't have to. Uh, Ace of Cups. But it might not be. I don't know. I'm neutral. I don't give a fuck. We'll see what happens. Because I don't give a fuck, we get to find out what happens. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Someone's about to tell you how they feel. Again, I will say, I think they're going to do it. I think, I think that's going to be the title of this reading. I think they're going to do it. Seems to be the only words coming out of my mouth. Soul. Book ending the strength card. Nine of Wands. Nines at the end. I'm just drawn to the nine. With the strength card here, that tears the wall down. And they're bookends, so they're read together. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, your soul connection, just to show you and give you some transparency, is crossing the soul position. That's what that means. So, down, down comes the wall. It's what we talked about in the uh, monthly overview when we got the wall here, right? The wall's coming down. Uh, there's, there ain't, their feminine energy's coming up. Somebody wants a second chance. Remember the pre-shuffle. That's all you got to do here. Hidden message. Message from the universe. Read with strength the world. I think they're going to do it. It's the most powerful card I can pull. It's a new energy, a new cycle, a new them. Okay? So far, so good. This is going to be one of those readings I don't want to clarify. I know I got veteran readers watching me right now shaking their head going, oh yeah, I know what it's... I don't know. I mean, it can't possibly be this simple, but it seems like it is. What's the potential final outcome? Red with the Ace of Cups. Mm, here we go. Queen of Wands. So, so much attraction here. It's an attraction energy. It's red with the Ace of Cups. This person can't stop thinking about you. I will go out on a limb and say I think they're going to do it. But I think they're going to do it on their terms still. That's why we see this emotional immaturity here. So it's not perfect. But it's as close to perfect as we're going to see in this soulmate cycle. I promise you that. Uh, it's, it's par for the course for my monthly overview for December, for my blog article for, for December, it, it really is. So the title of this reading will likely be, I think they're going to do it. Let's, let's talk to the witches. What's going on with the strength card? Let's clarify. Why is the strength card here? Wow. This is quite possibly the easiest reading I've ever pulled, and I, I'm grateful to the universe for giving me the first reading being easy. All right? My coffee's still set, settling in. But this is, this is child's play. So what's the catch here? I mean, the catch is the King, Queen of Wands a little bit. She, you know, she a whole lot of fakey McFakerman. You know, pretending one thing on the outside, feeling something else on the inside. But the most of the energy to that is attraction. It's red with the Ace of Cups, and that Ace of Cups is leaking like a sieve. What's going on here with the Strength card? Why is the Strength card here? Please don't make me say I think they're going to do it. Again, crossing this is the Two of Wands. I think they're going to do it. Okay? Do it meaning coming to talk to you. Tell you how they feel. Although I think they're not going to tell you everything. I think some of it's going to be held back because that's what the Queen of Wands does. Male or female. And then I've got this emotional my party girl's big sister too old to be going to these parties here. Right? You know? She, it, it is a bit of that kind of energy. But again, I mean, if you're waiting to hear from somebody, this is almost the ideal reading. The Two of Wands. Letting go of whatever grudge they were holding on to, whatever was holding them back, the wall's coming down, somebody's moving toward a new wand. The intention's already been set. That's clear in the energy. What's on top? Uh, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're going to, that backs up the Queen of Wands. They're going to choose their words carefully. Okay, can I phrase it like that? All right, why is the Page of Pentacles here? Also, some spying energy. It, it, they're looking at your picture a lot, which is part of the reason it's not helping, right? That empress. But I think they're going to do it. Uh, Six of Swords is why it's here. Because somebody needs to resolve something. Somebody, it, it's, it's almost a spank bank isn't enough kind of energy anymore. They want the real thing. But it's not really that. It's just more, I feel the tension here. I felt it in the pre-shuffle. That, that, that sad girl on the Five of Pentacles, which is also why we're here before the cut. And that, and that same girl on the judgment card begging the universe, deep down inside anyway, for a second chance. I think they're going to do it. I think somebody wants to smooth something out. Somebody's putting down whatever this wand is. And that, that wand's what's been holding them back. 
All right. I think they may be held on to a grudge. I feel that kind of energy here for some of you. But I think also that their pride and ego just got in the way in general. What's going on with the Ace of Cups? But this is what December is about. It's ripe for this kind of change. What's going on with the Ace of Cups? Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is it here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay. Yeah. What I say? They need to release this. You know, and there's a lot of pain. Three of Swords. Three Swords. Holding back this Ace of Cups. Holding back this love. They can't pretend anymore. The attraction energy here is stronger than the fakey McFakerman energy. Alright? Than the phoniness. The phoniness is the weaker energy. What's on top? Again, in the 3D. Their feminine is the Empress. Queen of Tits. Right? Even in a frumpy green dress out in a dirty old field, you'd still hit that. It's straight up. All they get, literally, if they're a dude, they're straight up. They're pitch intense. Okay? Because th their feminine energy is coming up. They're in their fields. Of course they are. We just came out of November, the, the Sesame Street Hereford, to some spiritual shit. But so this discard proves that in the 3D, there's a lot of pain here. That, that, that's representing that girl in the Five of Pentacles who was sad outside the door, begging for a second chance in the judgment card. And by the way, we had judgment. We didn't know whether we got to the world or not until we got here. We did. The world came after judgment in the reading. So yeah, this is a, this is. I think they take the shot. Um, I think they do it on their terms. I think there's a little phoniness to it. They hold back a little. But yeah, all they can think about is you in the 3D. And also their feminine energy is coming up. Why is the uh, Empress here? The Four of Wands. Again, somebody wants a new beginning. Someone wants a second shot. That that ties to that judgment card where, where that person who was on the Five of Pentacles was outside begging for a second chance. Uh, there's a chance here for something stable. They, they know your value. They certainly understand how they feel about you. The wall is coming down. This pretty much tells us the same thing we learned from the overview reading All right, for, for the month. So make sure you watch that. It's very important. The Nine of Wands. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. There's not even a wall left here. Any, anything can get through that. What's going on here? Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is it here? Why? 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 Yeah, I told you. I think they're going to do it. Three of Wands. We had two. Of, these are bookending these. We had two of Wands here. Escalation to three of Wands here. Look, there's no other way to read it. Even by the cards, there's no other way to read it. But by the energy, which is what I read. I don't give a fuck about the cards. The cards are just pretty pictures for you. All they're focused on is you. You're on that boat, right? There's a lot going on on that boat. A lot better than what they got going on on the land, right? Topless dancing, bottomless buffets. I mean, it's, you know, it's on. You want, they want to be on that boat where you are. Well, well, proof of that is here. It's not only in the soul. It's in the 3D with the Empress appearing here. What's on top? Knight of Cups. I think they're going to do it. That wall is coming down. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Strength card. These are bookending these. This is a strength card right there. It ties us back to this. Again, the whole loop is I think they're going to do it, and this is why in the middle. And why? Because they, there's a lot of pain. Remember, Three of Swords was crossing. They've been holding back a lot of feelings. I think they're letting go of whatever was holding them back. I think they do it on their terms, though. Uh, I'm curious to, to clarify that. Queen of Wands. It's the worst card that fell on the table. It just means... I, I think I think they're probably a little nervous. I see that with the Page of Pentacles, but this is something it, it's something they have to do. It's something that the, it's eating at them. Can I phrase it like that? You're eating at them, right? I think they'd like to be eaten at the Empress. And I'm telling you, I feel that energy here. You can see it right here in the Soul with a Knight of Cups and a Strength card. Doesn't even matter if they're afraid to do it. The, the Strength card is basically saying they do it anyway. Uh, why is the world here? What's the universe trying to tell us? with the world. What's going on? Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Yeah. Okay. Again, three wands crossing here. Uh, th was it three wands crossing? Yeah, three wands crossing here. Two wands, three wands, and now we come here and we get three cups. It's probably going to surprise you. It's like I told you in the monthly overview. I think a lot of signs are going to get readings like this here in December. Three cups. Someone's coming to open up. Okay, it's a flow of water. It's the flow of emotion. It's a celebration energy. 
sitting around with talking and toasting and all that kind of stuff. It's that kind of energy. But it's really just about the flow of water, the flow of emotion, which is different for this person. This is new energy. That This is tied to that judgment card and the pre-shuffle with that person begging, please help me come in from out of the cold. You know, can I have a second chance? I wish they were taking the second chance a little stronger than that. But we'll see when we get there. What's on top? Yeah, I think they're going to do it. The world. I mean, it's the lovers on top of the world. Crossed by the Three of Cups, my biggest card of communication in the Minor Arcana. For me, it's my reading. It's, it's huge. It's huge. And it's, you know, it's because they can't, again, it's red with the Page of Pentacles. Looking at your picture isn't enough anymore. They want what's on the picture. Can I just explain it like that without getting into the hocus pocus of the energy? It's that simple, really. That's why I show you the pictures. So you can kind of get a feel for it. Or, or a visual. Why is the lovers here? I think they're going to do it. It's a death card. Yeah. Someone wants to put an end to choppy water, move on to calm waters. Um, but also, the, uni the universe, this is a separate message from the universe. It is red with the energy of the connection. But, it, you know, the universe kind of being cheeky here, it's kind of saying this is like a whole new person. Mostly, I think, because this feminine energy is coming up in them. I think this, I think for your person in the Aries angle, I think the 11-11 uh, the portal in particular hit them hard. Now, they do show up. This is communication, but it's on their terms. It might be a little holdbacky. It can be. It's not a surprise. You can't have light without shade. This isn't going to be a perfect roses and rainbows reading. But let's see about the, King of, uh, the Queen of Wands. Why is it here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? And remember, we had the King of Wands in the uh, pre-shuffle. So, there is a divine couple here. Maybe both of you will hold back a little bit. I don't know. It's possible. I recommend you meet them on their level. You know, don't give more than they're giving, right? Don't give more than you're getting back, or not too much more, anyway. Why is the uh, Queen of Wands keep things balanced? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. What's crossing it? Look at that. Ties us right back to the soul. It is the Nine of Wands, and that explains the Strength card, which usually has a wall of fear around it. So they're a little bit afraid, but they, it's not enough to stop them. They're going to do it anyway. I think they're going to do it. There's the Nine of Wands, the end of the barrier, the end of turning their back to happiness, which is what the Queen of Wands often does, taking more, pre more pretentious and superficial things in favor of any true kind of love. Uh, that wall is coming down. Again, repeating message from the overview for the month. What's on top? Page of Swords. Yeah, the Empress, this is read with the Empress. They can't, first of all, they can't stop thinking about you. Energy is always in layers, so I'll give you the top layers. One, they can't stop thinking about you. There could be some spying energy kicking up. But also, they might disappoint you with this Queen of Wands energy. All right, I'm just being honest with you. They might disappoint you with how much they share because it's not going to be a pure reflection. They're going to keep some of it. Only some of this Ace of Cups is coming out. They're going to keep some of it in the cup. Um, it, it's, it's just a, a skim off the surface of how they feel. Okay, how they truly feel. Um, so they might disappoint you. But why, it is communication. I still think they're going to do it. It still holds. Why is the uh, Page of Swords here? King of Swords. Mm -hmm. They've, it's a message for you. And I said, you might, this, some of this energy might be you. You're, they're very attracted to you. So you might, don't give more than they're giving you. All right? Try to keep it as balanced as possible. This King of Swords is read with the Four of Wands. If they want the Four of Wands with you, which is marriage, the pathway to the Ten of Pentacles, you know, the whole stable new beginning. If they want the Four of Wands with you, they're going to have to give you more than this. So again, and we see this a lot, especially in the extendeds, right? So again, meet them on their terms. But somebody here on in another layer of energy, somebody here is taking action. It's my King of Action. This is what they want. Four of Wands. This is how this is how they come across. Because they might be a little bit intimidated by you, by their attraction for you. We had three swords crossing here. That says a lot. There's a lot of love. What they're going to share with you is at the page level. So keep that in mind. All right, let's pull three more cards from the universe. What else the universe want to tell us here? Give me three cards, universe. What do you want to tell Aries before we go? What do you want to tell Aries here? Okay, yeah. Uh, we always pull from the bottom here in this part. We've got the Three of Wands. 
I got the four of cups. My really look at look how sad she is, right? Um, and the seven of wands. They're gonna fight for it. I think they are because I've got the queen of pentacles here. This person is disappointed in themselves. That's the core energy. It's probably why they show up, Pagey. All right, because you're fucking awesome. Your energy is attached to this, as is some of their feminine energy. But this is primarily, again, tied to the empress we saw in the, um, what the hell was it? Uh, was, was there an empress in the pre-shuffle or something? I don't remember. At this point, I don't even fucking remember. But I'm pretty sure there was an empress in the pre-shuffle. This is tied to that. Um, so, again, they're disappointed in themselves, which is causing some hesitation, but it's not enough to stop them. This is a combination energy of keeping the high ground, that's them coming in as the Queen of Wands and talking about the way they want to, right? Just revealing a little bit and fighting for what's right for them, which is somebody here, which is the king, which is representing the King of Swords, right? Somebody coming in and taking action. I'm telling you, they're very disappointed in themselves. This is one of the most nurturing energies that there is. It's, one, it's, the beaut it's a beautiful energy of the Empress. And as they feel this, this is the part of you that they're feeling that soul nurturing energy and that is what's melting this wall it's almost not a wall anymore look at it it's fucking looks like shit all right that's what's going on that is your reading for december 2022 uh it's it's nice watch the monthly overview as well it's 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 good energy here it's all about new beginnings all right that is your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. I will leave you with the message. I think they're going to do it. All right. Good luck.